Hey, welcome back to another awesome video into the iOS 10 development course. Today we're going to be learning about the labels and how to customize them into our app. So let's get started. We're going to open up Xcode 8. If you already have the previous project open, that's great because we're going to be using the same, which is called Hello World. On the left side, we're going to open the main storyboard and this shows us the actual layout of the application that we are currently opening. There's nothing on the screen at the moment, and we're going to change that. If you guys remember, we have iPhone SE selected, just because it fits better according to the size of our screen. And just for the sake of it, we're going to run it because the first time it takes longer to run while we're currently working on something else. Again, we're going to make some space by clicking on these areas and hide all these extra panels because we're not going to be using them anymore. We do need this panel, so that's why we, we're just going to keep that. Right here is where we can select all of these objects that we can simply drag and drop onto our layout. And we're going to choose Label. We can either find it like this by scrolling up and down, or we can just do a filter for that. And it's going to bring up the actual label. And here it gives you a brief overview of what it represents. Uh, so it, about the label, it says a variable size amount of static text, which basically means it's a box that holds text into it. You can simply drag and drop it onto the layout. And if you guys notice these lines, blue lines that appear, these are basically the guidelines to help you position any of the information on the layout. It's very helpful. Let's just put it on the top in the middle here. We're going to keep a um, brief distance from the top so when we run the simulator the actual timeline is going to appear here so it does not overlap onto it and just like any other file in iOS we can double click it to rename it and we can give information onto our label and we're going to call it hello world and we're going to reposition it in the middle now this repositioning is not going to be helpful in terms of just positioning it here forever in all the devices. If you are positioning it on our layout here on any of these devices, it's only going to be in that position on the same simulator as well, not every device. So if I were to run this current app on iPhone 6s, it will not be on the top here. It'll be on the random position. Similarly, if we were to use it on an iPad Air as a simulator, it's not going to be at the exact space. It's only going to be on the exact space in iPhone SE because it remembers the position for that. For the different devices, we're going to have to be doing something called constraints for all these um, labels and stuff that we have on layout, which we will get into later on in the course. But for now, we're just going to keep it very simple. So we need introduction of this label. So we're going to click on it. And on the right panel here is where all the information about the attributes of label are presented. So let's just go over them. So these text could be plain or attributed. We're going to keep it plain for now. Attributed is a bit more advanced. We can get into that later on whenever we need to. And this is where we can edit the text as well. Right underneath it is the color picker where we can change the color by going into others. Either choose any of these colors or play around with all these options that we have. The best part is we, we also have a color picker, which we can pick any color on the screen and it'll take that. The next one is the font, which can be changed very easily by going into custom. And here we have all the options of these fonts, which are installed in our system. You can use that. If you guys notice this, is not completely there anymore. That's because of the fact that the actual word is too big for this box. We can also change the size, um, the, sorry, the style of the text. We're gonna keep it bold. We can also increase the size for it. Let's do 30. 
Now, it would make sense that a bigger thing in a smaller box is not fit fitting in in terms of displaying it on the screen, so that's why it's come getting off of that box. Simply, we're going to resize it. There we go. And we're going to put it back to the top here. We're going to align it in the middle. It's nice and very well. And we can increase the lines of how many lines do we keep as a limit for this text to show up on. Just in case our text was, how are you doing? A lot bigger than what it is right now. It'll always just show up on one line just because of the fact that we have a limit of one line on it. On the other side, if we were to give it more space and increase the number of lines, it'll follow those constraints and limitations. If you do not know exactly how many lines do you need for that, you can simply go to zero. But for this one, we're going to keep it one line and keep it short. There we have it. I'm going to put it back on top, in the middle. There we go. We're going to go over all these basic functions, which are, which might be a bit more advanced for this particular video. And get into a highlight and give it a highlight color. We're going to drop shadow onto it as well. Mm, I guess black looks better. It's not as clear just because of the fact that we haven't offset it, which we can do very easily by playing around with these numbers. Also, we can change the content mode to any of these options. It will be very helpful for the future, I guess. You can play around with it so you know exactly what these do. I believe that goes mostly for pictures and images. So let's move on. And the alpha is basically how much of this actual uh, label do you want to show on the layout in the app. So it's going to basically decrease the opacity. It is very helpful at times. So it's a very good thing to know. You can change the color of the background as well. And all of these options are very helpful as well, but again, it's going to come into later videos. Let's just give you a, a quick task to do. How about you guys make a label that shows up in the middle bottom here, and it says, click me with an exclamation mark. You can go crazy with all the colors and backgrounds and stuff like that. I'll give you a minute for that. And to delete all the information on the display, I simply highlighted it and pressed delete on my keyboard. All right, there you have it. I hope it went very well. Let's see how I would have done it. So again, a simple search for label. You can drag and drop it here. Oh. Sorry, I had actually deleted the entire view controller as well by mistake. That's why it didn't show up. Anyways, we're going to drag and drop a label here. We're going to zoom in on it just so we can see it. And it's going to say, click. Okay. Simple as that. I'm not going to be very fussy about the colors or the kind of font that you might be using. I'm just looking for any label in the middle at the bottom here. And once we run it, it should show up in the middle of the screen in our simulator. There we have it. Okie dokie. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys and I hope you understand what labels are and what you can do in terms of customizing it. And in the next video, we're going to be learning about the constraints and how we can actually give limitations to their position in all the devices. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next one.